Yol Edoche is a very bad man. Very bad, very wicked. Like, I think we should pray against the type of Yol Edoche in our life. My correct loving and wonderful people, no be smarty, no, no be smarty at all at all. This year, 2024. Ah, uh ah, -uh, Are we going to start it like this? Eh? With a lot of relationship problems. Hey, hey, hey. He don't shell, he don't say it. Well, my correct loving and wonderful people, you guys are warmly welcome back to the channel in case you are all here and you still haven't subscribed. Yes, so we are just starting another year. Please show us some love for this 2024 by clicking on the subscription button. And if you are new, oh my God, you are super, super welcome. Also show us that love that made you to stop over, especially for this new year. We are going to celebrate you and also we are trying as much as possible to come up in a different way. Happy New Year to everybody. This year, 2024, even when we have started with relationship problems, marriage problems, we have heard enough from Yole Doshe and his wife. Also, we have heard enough or more than enough from <laughs> Potebu. We have also heard much. Oh my God, this is wonderful. Well, my current loving and wonderful people, as we all know about this young lady called Blessing CEO, a professional relationship therapist, according to herself. Some people have argued, how can you be a relationship therapist without a relationship? They said you have to live by example. You have to show example of what you are advising people. You are not in a relationship, you are not in marriage, and you are advising people who are in marriage. What experience have you had? Where did you get your experience? Well, I may not know much about how those people or where they got this their argument from. If you know better, please help us. We, we stand to be corrected in whatever mistake we make here. So my current loving and wonderful people, <laughs> Blessing has also given his own two cents about what is happening in that marriage between Yul Edoshe and it has been a long lasting problems it has lasted for over a year when these two guys had a problem and from the looks of thing the marriage is not working out at all good things are not coming out of that marriage even though there is this belief that marriage is a wonderful thing marriage is a good thing but where it is not properly managed it becomes a bad thing where it is not properly managed, it becomes what is scaring other people from going into, which is very bad. An institution ordained by God himself, by Jesus Christ. The first miracle was performed there in marriage. Yet, we are taking it for granted. Some of us are not doing what is supposed to be done. The needful are not done. When my current loving and wonderful people, I listen to Blessing CEO, as a matter of fact, I don't understand what he was saying. I'm going to play the video for you to also listen to this young lady. Maybe you will understand her better than we are expecting your comments to also know what you understand. Because for me, Haba, Blessing said, from what Blessing said, from her analysis, it means Mayol Edoche is the main cause of the problem. Though she said the real thing that has happened in that marriage, we are not aware. They have not told us. But from what she said so far, looks as if May Yole Doshe has been the one causing problem. But since she's quiet, everybody tends to be supporting her. Because Yole is always shouting, they felt Yole Edoshe is the problem in that marriage. But come to think of it, even though we are not inside that marriage, looking at the physical aspect of what is happening there, who went as far as marrying second wife? Who went as far as impregnating somebody? Who went as far as doing all those things? And that wasn't the agreement they had at the initial stage. <laughs> Blessing CEO, this one, eh? <laughs> this one, you know, you know, you know, follow at all. You know, follow. Though at the beginning of the video, she said, Yol is a very bad man. And we should pray that Yul shouldn't come into our families. Somebody like Yul, we shouldn't go across somebody like Yul at all. Anyway, let me not talk too much, my correct, loving, and wonderful people. Let us listen to Blessing CEO, what she said, and let us also understand how, after listening to her, your understanding about what she said. Give us at the comment section. Listen to her. 
Yol Educhi is a very bad man. Very bad, very wicked. How can a man just wake up and just say he wants to go and marry another wife? Eh? Yeah, I don't know any Alice. I don't know any Alice. That is worse than that. Like, I think we should pray against the type of Yol Educhi in our life this year. Because mm. I'm still wondering, a whole queen, you will marry a complete queen. Queen. Complete queen. Woman way get good character. Woman way fine. Woman way stand with pointed breasts. Flat tummy. Perfection. How can a man marry a whole queen? And leave her for a princess. I'll be a slave. Which one on a call Yoel, now what? Wow. Like, I don't know. I've been trying to phantom it in my head and say, what is even wrong with Yoel? Don't you say? Make you rest. Eh? Make you rest. Zuike, Yoel. But to, to our queen, I want to ask a question that really, really bothers me. Yoel Odoche is so bad of a man. Why are you still under his shadow? Kerife Meli Kanaza, me, Yoel Odoche. Why are you still holding his surname? Because if a man is this bad and this demonic, a woman is not supposed to have anything to do with him now. Okay, Kochilu now. The first thing a woman even does when she divorces her husband, or when the man do bad, and the man is as wicked as you are, the first thing when you go do, you go yank off his name, yank off his son's name. That is how they do it now. Put your papa name. But it's been two years now. Come out of his shadow. Eh? The man is so bad. He's so wicked. Leave his name and his son's name. When you come out of his shadow and leave his name and his son's name, leave his clout, People will not even remember that this man hurts you this much. If you disassociate yourself from him. Yes, you have children for him, but you as a woman, you can have an identity of your own. Your children is not your identity. You get where you're from. You understand? If you can leave his shadow, people might not even remember that you were married to Yol. We will just focus on Judy Austin. You understand? I know that, okay, she is Yol's wife. We will not even remember. Your distress you are going through every time on the internet will be bringing you. You know, you go talk. Yol go talk. They go merge them together. It's because you are still carrying his son name. Ikabua Fayana Gale. You are still carrying his name, you're not even just carrying a doche, you're carrying your doche. And he's so bad. He's not it. He's a very bad man. Because I don't know why people want to still be associated yourself with bad people and bad name. Hmm? That's just my own oh, no, with this video that is trending. I know this Nkasi man, Nkasi long. My own is come out of his shadow. Leave his name and his son name. That's his bad name and that's his bad son name. lawyer, no, no, no. That's just where me I'm concerned though. And to those people saying, eh, what you all is saying is a lie. Wait, wait, you know, see the truth is, you see me and Yola Duches married our Wahala. They have not told us what happened. Yes, they have not told us what happened. I went to Insta blog, some people were saying, Yola is a lie. If you had something to say, you'd have said it since. Listen, let me teach you guys something. This one, a free relationship therapy. The person that is pinching can always be the quiet one. Why the person that they are pinching can always be the one crying and louder? I will come again. The person pinching you is always quiet. Because when you pinch, it is quiet. But you that they pinch will shout. And people will be wondering, what is wrong with this one? Because the pinch is silent. People will always think that nothing is happening to you. You, are, you just like to make noise. You are a loud noise maker. This thing where I just give Unana. Smart, intelligent, deaf people go understand what they talk. When it comes to marriage, nobody is a sense. You will just judge based on your perspective on how you see people. You don't know what thing happened for marriage. Come on, buddy. I said they pinch some people and some people are shouting. When people are shouting, listen to their cry. Listen to their cry. Nobody they cry. Get some people where they pinch you silently. When they pinch you silently and you they shout. And sometimes pinch you know they get evidence. You they go pinch you, they go say what do you go say person pinch you. Where he pinch you, how he pinch you? Because no evidence. So my own be say when it comes to marital issues like this, come on, buddy. The person where you they think say now nah, be a good person, I lie you. I've been a relationship therapist for eight years. Nothing where my eye never see for this man. And I've been married. I say now that one where you see, say holy. Now them the guilty pass. Just because people do not talk, don't mean that they don't have a lot to say. Sometimes you can actually be quiet. Not because they did not hurt you. Sometimes you can be quiet to protect people's image. I've seen this a whole lot of time. They don't drag me for internet before. Tell me, say, I did not. Tell him. We would have listened to him. There is always two sides to the story. Unfortunately, in this part of the world, men are always the victim. I started paying more attention when I started having male children. I started paying more attention when my kids, I have two boys. Blessing CEO actually have a lot to say, but let us put a stop here. The little we have listened to has carried out everything 
we can use that as an information for whatsoever we want to talk about. So she has actually taken a side supporting Yon Edoshe because from what she has said so far, maybe me is the major problem of that relationship. She has caused the relationship to be the way it is and that is not functioning very well again. Thank you so much for watching. You may be ever blessed. Till we meet again. Some station. Bye.